Today we're going to talk about counting music, and no, there is no one single way to count music that's written in stone. It doesn't exist. However, there are many different ways of counting music. Take these 16th notes, for example. You could count them as 1T data using the Eastman system, or Duta data using the Gordon system, or Tiri Tiri using the Kodai system, or Takadimi using the Carnatic South Indian system, or Wanianda using the standard system. I think that going over the differences between these counting systems is more than what we want to review in this video, so we're going to just use the standard system, since it's probably the one you're familiar with. But if you want to learn more about the other counting systems, check out some of the links to resources in the description below. In the standard system, each beat of the time signature gets a number. So in the time signature of 4-4, four, four, the top number is the number of beats in the measure, and the bottom number is the type of note that gets the beat. So we have four quarter notes, and each one gets a number. One, two, three, four. So if we count this measure with our metronome, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. I know what you're thinking. How do I count the 64th notes in the solo I picked out this year solely based on how cool it sounds and now that I have the sheet music I have no idea how to count half of these rhythms? Don't worry, we'll cover that soon. For right now, let's get back to our quarter notes. If we added eighth notes, the downbeats would still be counted using 1, 2, 3, 4, but the upbeats will be counted using the syllable AND, making this measure of eighth notes 1, AND, 2, AND, 3, AND, 4, AND. If we counted this using our metronome, it would sound like this. 1, AND, 2, AND, 3, AND, 4, AND. A quick side note here. I've seen the syllable and written as an ampersand, like we're using today, or the little cross ampersand, or even just a plus sign. Just know that these all mean the syllable and when counting in the standard system. Now let's look at combining quarter notes and eighth notes. Let's take this measure for example. A quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, and two eighth notes. It would be counted one, two, and three, four, and. If we counted this with our metronome, it would sound like this. One, two, and three, four, and. If you have rests, they are silent, just like in the music, but still be sure to give them the right amount of silence. Let's take this measure for example. A quarter note, two eighth notes, a quarter rest, and two eighth notes. It would be counted one, two, and, rest, four, and. You wouldn't say rest, it would just be silent. So if we counted this with our metronome, it would sound like this. One, two, and, four, and. I've put some more examples in the blog post, link in the description below, so that you can practice on your own. I think that's all we're going to cover for today. Next time we'll take a look at counting 16th notes and triplets using the standard system. Thanks for watching! You can support Odd Quartet by visiting our online store, and now you can support Odd Quartet by visiting our Patreon page. Thanks again for watching, be sure to subscribe so that you're notified when we put out the next video, and we'll see you next time.